Hey guys, this is Mindy back with another cup of love, cup of wisdom. Let's get in here and do an energy check and see what's going on. Remember, this could be past, present, or future energy. So remember to take what resonates, leave what does not, flip the signs and rolls as needed. Keep in mind that this is a collective read, not a personal read. If you would like a personal read, the details are in my description box for my channel. And you can email me at aceofcupzero at yahoo.com. So let's see if anything comes out of this deck. Mm. So we have a King of Pentacles here. So someone is a gold digger, someone who does not know how to budget or man manage oh, getting tongue tied <laughs> budget or manage finances. Somebody was looking for an easy get rich quick scheme. You're moving on to calmer water. So you're moving away from this King of Pentacles, whether you're a divine femme or masculine. There's somebody here that only cared about money or finances. There's a permanent ending here. So you could be moving away from this person, or you already did. Remember, past, present, or future. Um, there's a permanent ending here because that's all somebody cared about was money or finances. Um, if you were in a relationship with this person, you may have discovered that this person um, didn't really love you. They only cared about money. And maybe they treated you badly because you didn't have it, or they moved on to somebody who they thought they could get money or finances from. This person brought a tower moment upon themselves, and you're coming out of the cold. So if this person left you out in the cold um, to pursue, you know, the love of money with somebody else, or maybe after they took everything from you, you're coming out of that. You're coming out of a Five of Pentacles energy. You have a victory. This is a yes for you with the Ace of Swords. Or an Empress energy. Um, you could be loving on yourself. You could be, you know, healing. You could be in good health. Somebody could also want to come towards you with um, a love offer. Hopefully it's not the same person. There's something that could be stuck in your path or stuck. Something is stopping someone from coming towards you with a love offer. And there were heavy burdens that were placed on you. So there's a King of Pentacles here. This gold digger energy, this masculine, that was placed heavy burdens on an empress energy. And that could be a reason that um, someone else can't come towards you. Or maybe you're just focused on being single, self-sufficient. You know, you might not be worried about being in a relationship. This king of pentacles in the reverse was not held in high honor. This person, like I said, they only cared about money, finances. They could have taken a lot of resources from you. And then we have the King of Wands here. So someone who's in a leadership position, this person, this masculine, could want to come towards an empress with a love offer. Um, this person would be caring, compassionate, you know, very protective energy. Um, this person can come across as restless sometimes, you know, um, but they want to come towards this empress. But someone is thinking about money or finances. So this King of Wands um, could be focused on getting some money or making enough money to come towards an Empress. Or this King of Wands can't come towards this Empress. That could be a blockage because maybe this Empress is low on finances. So maybe um, they're not worried about being in a relationship at this time because they're focused on making money or um, working or something like that. Um, someone's trying to rebuild themselves here. This could be an empress. This masculine could want to help this empress build money, uh, build finances. This masculine wants to partner up with this empress, but there's something, um, that this king of pentacles did that was trying to stop this empress from having a new start or a new beginning. So if this king of pentacles tries to come back to this empress, um, they're not going to have a new start or a new beginning with this Empress. This Empress is moving on, and it looks like there's a King of Wands here that wants to be with this Empress. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this Empress could be very good at budgeting, managing finances. This person, this King of Wands, could want to start a business with you, run a business with you, uh, possibly even offer you a job or something like that. Um... Even if you don't have a lot of finances or resources, that does not mean you cannot be in your Queen of Pentacles energy. It's the energy. Just because you may not have a lot of money doesn't mean you're not good at managing or financing or budgeting. Um, 
So you may have had a lot of money at one time because you are a queen of pentacles. You know how to deal with money. Um, and that is why the king of pentacles in reverse <clears throat> may have attached themselves to you to cause you injury and cause you harm. And they don't want you having a new start or a new beginning with somebody else. Because they know even if they did take something from you, even if they took everything from you, you have the capabilities of rebuilding. Maybe you already have started rebuilding or moving forward. I feel like this King of Pentacles is still watching you in some way, shape, or form. You're going to get your financial security back or you're going to have family security um, with the Ten of Pentacles, you're going to be okay financially. It just may take you a while to get there. Someone brought about a lot of bad luck upon themselves as King of Pentacles in the reverse. They're on the wrong side of the Wheel of Fortune because they could have um, taken a significant amount of money or resources from you in the past. And they could see you rebuilding or they could know that you have money coming towards you. And they, want, they could possibly want to come back towards you um, because they need money, obviously. But this King of Pentacles in the reverse is on the wrong side of the Wheel of Fortune because they were weak, they were two-faced, you know, they they fell for the low-hanging fruit. This person's easily tempted, and if you wave a dollar bill in front of this mofo, they're going to run off and follow the, the money, okay? And this person was trying to be creative in how to get finances or resources. Um, maybe they were broke and they didn't want a feminine energy to know this. We have a masculine here. Who's a so this masculine, this king of wands could be dealing with a queen of wands. So this masculine that wants to go towards the empress could want to go towards this empress, but this emperor is dealing with a karmic feminine energy. So that could be another reason this king of wands can't go towards this empress, this queen of pentacles. Um, they could be in a relationship or they could be married. They could be dealing with this queen of wands. Um, this is a karmic person for them. Um, so they may have to deal with that before they could go, go towards their empress. And no, once again, I hate that I have to even say this. I'm not saying that this masculine wants to leave their wife for a divine femme. What I'm saying is, is they are stuck dealing with um, a karmic queen of wands at this time. That they have to separate themselves themselves from before they can go towards a divine femme. So somebody um, had some sort of addiction or obsession and they didn't get the offer that they'd been waiting for. So there's somebody here that um, may have been tricked or duped into um, being with a karmic. Maybe they shared addictions or obsession, something like that. Um, this Queen of Wands could actually have some sort of addiction or obsession. This King of Wands may not have known that when they hooked up with this person. They may have married this um, feminine energy without realizing who they were or that they had addictions. And now they're realizing that they're stuck with this person and they need to get away from them. Um, they're finding out that this person was very two-faced and, and weak, um, that they, they could have a substance abuse problem. They could have a sex addiction. You know, whatever addiction or obsession that they have, it is not what this King of Wands expected when they got into a relationship with this person. And they ended up possibly marrying this person. And they need to break away from them. Somebody was heavily burdened. So somebody has been heavily burdened by... Um, you know, they're karmic. So, you know, while the Empress was dealing with their karmic King of Pentacles in the reverse, this King of Wands was dealing with a karmic Queen of Wands that placed a lot of heavy burdens on them. They could have left them in financial issues um, because of some sort of addiction or obsession. And it could, it could even be a shopping addiction, okay? Um, somebody likes to spend a lot of money. Okay, there's a lot of money that is missing or finances or resources that have been, that have come up missing is what I'm seeing. So 
somebody rushed in and told some sort of lie to cause a betrayal here. This could be a queen of wands who knew that this emperor, this masculine, wanted to go towards a divine femme, the queen of pentacles. And this person could have rushed in and betrayed them in some, in some sort of way. This masculine is going to be set free from this negative situation. They're going to receive a message that they're going to be set free. That's going to help set them free. They may not even realize how bad this person's addiction or obsession is. All they know is that this... This Queen of Wands keeps spending a lot of money. There's balance that has to be restored in a situation. So there's some sort of timeline that needs to be corrected here. Um, whether this Empress is still with this King of Pentacles in the reverse and they're trying to separate from them. Or they've already been left out in the cold and they're coming out of that. There was an injury that was caused there. This Emperor is dealing with their karmic as well. This Queen of Wands. And they could be trying to separate from them. And then the ultimate um, outcome would be for this Divine Feminine Masculine energy to hook up with each other if this is your Divine Counterpart. Something is being brought to light. Some sort of secret is being exposed about some cowardly action that someone took. So someone was a punk-ass little bitch with the strength in the reverse here. They caused a betrayal. They rushed in with some sort of lie. And something is being exposed. Balance has to be restored in this situation. This... Um, emperor could be finding out something really shady that this, this queen of wands did to betray them in some sort of way and they're going to find out about this so some sort of secret is going to be revealed to this emperor there's going to be a group of people um, that could be involved in a situation or there's a group of people here that's being enlightened okay there could be something being revealed about an entire group of people within the community as well they might have possibly known about this betrayal or they're going to find out about a betrayal that somebody did to another person here. There could be a group of people that are watching somebody, um, you know, have to deal with a lot of heavy burdens. You know, they had to have strength, courage, and perseverance to get through something, whether this is the divine femme or masculine. Someone has had a, a lot of heavy burdens placed on them, and they've had to get through something very, I'm hearing very traumatic. There was a message of lie, page of swords here. So someone was really good at causing someone to be heavily burdened, but it was all based on lies, and they created an injustice, and they traveled towards somebody intentionally with an offer to create an injustice. So if somebody could have lied. This could have been like unrequited love situation. Um, somebody could have only hooked up with someone for resources. Um, they could have not been honest about who they are, what they are. Um, like this Queen of Wands energy, this person could have cheated. This person could be a cheater. Um, you know, they could not be faithful. This could also be the King of Pentacles in the reverse who went towards the Empress and, um, they only made them an offer because they wanted money or finances. There's something stuck or frozen regarding a housing situation. So there's something regarding a home that is stuck or someone is taking a moment. Um, this could also be the group of people that is reflecting regarding a house or a housing situation. It could also be a job as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be just a house. There's a group of people here that are taking a moment to reflect about what happened regarding a situation. Um, this could even be at work. Um, this Queen of Wands could have been somebody that you worked with. Somebody that was in a leadership position that abused their power because somebody was a gold digger. So somebody was keeping it hidden that they were working with a gold digger energy. The Queen of Pentacles energy here. Scorpio ending. So somebody was doing something really shady behind the scenes because they only cared about money, finances, resources, and they were also hiding the fact that they were not really good with money. Okay, so this person, somebody could be in debt really badly. Um, they could have a lot of loans or something like that. Um, they could have been in a lot of debt that was not discovered until somebody received a message about it or some sort of communication. There is a king of swords here. There's some cards stuck together here. So we have someone that does want to come forth with a love offer. 
Um, and this person is going to speak the truth. Or this could also be someone getting a judgment in their favor that's going to give them a clean slate with the Fool card here. Someone is going to have a new beginning um, in love. They're going to start from scratch. They're going to start over. And there's a King of Swords here. So this could be a judgment involving a job or a home. Um, but there's something that someone has to, to reflect about. There's some sort of information that somebody has to sort through regarding this home or job situation. Because there was a financial imbalance that was created with the Knight of Wands. Somebody made some sort of communication intentionally to cause a financial imbalance. So somebody could have intentionally caused someone to lose a job to stop them from having a new start or a new beginning. And someone could be finding out about this. This gold digging queen of pentacles could have lied about this empress or even a masculine to cause them to lose a job so that they wouldn't be able to move forward and to try to stop them from finding out about some sort of financial imbalance that they created due to their addictions or obsessions. I'm, I'm strongly getting a shopping addiction. Somebody could buy like a lot of things, not take the tags off of them. Um, they could go get like those... Um, you know, buy here, pay here alone, something like that. Um, it doesn't have to be that, but um, someone could also suffer from some sort of drug addiction as well. And they hide this very, you know, they hide it very well as well. Judgment has been called on somebody's obsession. Somebody could be obsessed with interfering with another person's life, with their money, how much money they have, how much money they make. Judgment has been called or someone is going to have to face judgment for whatever addiction or obsession that they're suffering from. So that could be one of the secrets that's being revealed with the Nine of Pentacles that somebody either lost the Nine of Pentacles, somebody lost a significant amount of money here. They, they can't rest easily. Um, someone's under judgment for either taking a Nine of Pentacles um, losing, I'm using that term loosely because they didn't really lose it. They just kind of blew through it. Um, but there's a decent amount of money here, a significant amount of money that went missing. This is somebody that you had an emotional connection with, with the six of cups in the reverse. So this is somebody possibly from your past that you shared a relationship with that tried to stop you from getting a Nine of Pentacles or um, took a Nine of Pentacles. There's, a, there's communication that's going to be coming up. This person could be trying to communicate with you, whether it's the masculine or feminine energy here. Somebody's um, somebody that you were romantically involved with, a divine femme or masculine, someone that you were connected to, that you were you had an, an emotional attachment to, um, did something with a significant amount of money, and you're going to receive some sort of communication about this. Whatever communication this is, it's going to give you a new start, a clean slate. So you could be getting back money that was taken from you or that was stolen. Somebody could also be wanting to communicate to you and apologize um, that they caused you some sort of injury. There, there's some sort of injury here that was connected to a significant amount of money. And this is involving the Queen of Pentacles. So this Queen of Pentacles is going to be receiving a message about money. So like I said, even though um, you are the Queen of Pentacles, you can still be you know, struggling a little financially. Whatever information you're going to receive, it's going to help you and give you a new clean slate, a clean start regarding your finances and you're going to be able to move forward so you may have been stuck because of resources finances but that's about to change for the queen of pentacles someone's coming forth with truth so we have the page of swords and the knight of swords so somebody wants to speak some sort of truth i don't know how much of the truth it's going to be but somebody wants to, to rush in with some sort of truth but the it's the page of swords so you have to be careful about who's coming towards you to speak this truth because someone is going to find out that you have money or resources coming towards you and this could be that greedy ass king of pentacles that wants to show back up 
because now you have more resources to take, okay? So they took what they could get before. Um, they could be coming back to do another sweep to see if they can get away with more. And um, so you're going to have to be careful about someone from your past showing back up. Someone was watching. Someone has been watching. Okay, I, I mentioned that somebody has not left your energy. This King of Pentacles has still been watching and they're still showing up in your energy. You're entering into a new cycle, though. So that old cycle has been closed out. This person may feel like there's unfinished business, but for you, there is no unfinished business. You've already moved on from this person. You're not dealing with this person. You're getting some sort of recognition. Um, you know, people could be talking about you, your accomplishments, what you're doing with your life. And there's something that's stopping this Queen of Wands from doing something as well. So there's a barrier placed in this Queen of Wands' path from doing something as well. So this Queen of Wands, you may know this Queen of Wands that is connected to your Emperor. But someone here is an official person and they're very gifted and talented. So this Queen of Wands is connected to a Hierophant, someone who's a spiritualist. Um, they could be a religious leader, something like that. Um but they're very gifted and talented. So your masculine, if you are the empress here, this masculine energy could be an official person. They could be gifted or you could be gifted. Um, they could see you getting some sort of recognition or you could be seeing them getting some sort of recognition. And the Wheel of Fortune is on um, this hierof Hierophant side right now. This Hierophant um, may have a decision to make that's going to take them up higher on the wheel or let them fall. Um, and whatever decision this is, it's going to affect them for a long time because someone is worried about their financial stability at this time, but it's like they're going from the Four of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. So someone is going from like rags to riches energy. You know, you're coming out of the cold. You know, if you're worried about your finances, there's going to be a significant change that's going to happen. Um, this King of Wands could have a connection to finding out information okay this king of wands that is connected to this queen of wands in the reverse um this emperor is an official person and they could be finding out information and sending you a message that is going to help give you this clean start this full energy um and they could also have developed some sort of feelings towards you or, or they're just being caring and compassionate and watching you love on yourself. Um, it's not necessarily that they want to come to you and propose to you uh, just because they want to present an Ace of Cups. Um, it may not be them presenting this Ace of Cups. This is just you possibly loving on yourself, choosing to stay single. And someone is witnessing this. And this King of Wands is an official person and they are in a leadership position. But they're also dealing with this shady ass karmic queen of wands that's trying to stop something from happening for a divine feminine and that, that's really weird i'm trying to figure out how this um karmic femme knows this divine femme but i feel like this person knows them or maybe came across them or knows of them and maybe they don't like them so they're trying to stop this king of wands from helping this person that's it's really strange, but there's a rags to riches energy here. Someone's worried about their finances, but that's not going to last much longer because they're going to get this new start here. And there was a betrayal here. So there's a queen of wands in the reverse that caused a betrayal to intentionally keep someone stuck. I'm hearing they were hiding or withholding information. There's some sort of truth that's going to be spoken. With the Queen of Swords here, you could be telling the truth, or you were telling the truth about a situation. Um, you know, Divine Femme energy, you, you're in your Queen of Swords energy. You're not worried about romance or relationships at this time. You're just worried about you. You know, you're doing what you have to do. You can come across as cold-hearted, but, you know, you're just doing what you have to do. And whatever it is, it involves you loving on yourself and, you know, you're not really involved. I'm getting the, the energy that you're, like, single, that you're not in a relationship or you're not really worried about being in a relationship. And if you are in a relationship, that's fine, but I'm just saying I'm picking up on energy of somebody being single. Somebody caught a curable STD, so there's... Um, the Queen of Wands here that caused a betrayal to another person. 
that masculine em that emperor energy and so that could be another reason that there's relationship issues with that um, somebody hired someone to spy on you I can't see you so someone that you don't want to see anymore has hired someone to watch you or spy on you or it could also be that this king of wands wants to come towards this divine femme energy okay this masculine this divine masculine wants to go towards their empress and they're trying to get away from their karmic feminine energy because they could have caught a curable STD. And so this masculine could have told this karmic they didn't want to be with them or see them anymore. And so this this queen of wands in the reverse could have also hired someone to spy on a divine femme or even the masculine. So after somebody cut another person off, they hired someone to spy. Someone is not being honest with themselves. There's competition that you don't know about. So someone is, you know, someone wants to rush in with some sort of truth here. <clears throat> this could even be that King of Pentacles energy, that gold digger energy um, who caught the STD. Um, so keep that in mind. Let's not forget about the karmic masculine up there. That is not being honest with themselves. They want you to feel like you're not being honest with yourself. Um, they put you in a competition that you didn't know about. Someone here put another person in a competition. Um... They had a third party situation going on and then they caught a curable STD and then they've hired someone to spy on you on top of that. So, I mean, you're at a distance from this person. You're not in a relationship with them anymore because you cut them off. Someone needs to watch their spending. So someone could be watching their spending or needing to watch their spending because they feel like they're going to get some sort of money or finances from a divine femme or masculine, whichever side you are on this. Someone feels like they're getting money from somebody here. And um, so they, they need to watch their spending because it's not going to work out the way they thought it was going to. This divine femme or masculine is not going to take them back. You need to walk away, run away from this person now because they just want you for your money. They don't love you. <clears throat> Someone is acting very childish. They need to act their age. Someone is acting like a giant baby. Uh, so whoever is innocent here, you told someone that you don't love them. You know, find someone to love you. I don't. So you're not interested in this person from the past, what they've done to you. Um, marriage is like Jurassic Park. This could also be, this could be that King of Wands who is trying to separate from the Queen of Wands in the reverse. This karmic that they could have, like I said, they could have ended up marrying this person. Thank God I'm an atheist. They're hiding their true personality. So this king of wands, this divine masculine is finding out that the person they married had addictions, obsessions, um, and they were hiding who they really were from the beginning. And someone missed the trap here. They slept with someone you don't know. So they, this queen of wands energy in the reverse, um, they slept with someone that um, this masculine, this divine masculine didn't know. They caught a curable STD and luckily... This masculine missed the trap because someone was meeting up with someone secretly. Talk to me or call me. This person um, was talking to someone, calling them, meeting up with them secretly. This divine masculine may have found out about this only after this divine femme caught a curable STD. And this, this karmic feminine energy was trying to hide it from this masculine. And somehow this masculine found out about it. This person was as dull as dishwater. They thought this masculine wouldn't find out that someone was on antibiotics for something. Um, this masculine could have found some sort of paperwork or documentation, like from a doctor's visit or something. A penny saved is a penny earned. This female needs to save her money because this masculine is not going to keep funding this karmic feminine energy. They're going to end up with a bleeding heart. Someone's going to have to heal from this heartbreak here. Um, they got caught in the crossfire. They want to bury the hatchet. They are trying to blame somebody else or say that something was an accident, that something isn't really real. This really wasn't an STD. They, they made a mistake. Um, they just gave me the wrong stuff. There's a Scorpio here, E, F, G, and H. This Queen of Wands in reverse knows they fucked up because this masculine energy and the Divine Femme are the best things since sliced bread, and eventually they're going to hook up. Maybe it might take them a while. There's a lot standing in the way between these two hooking up, but eventually it'll happen. 
a dark and stormy night and a Gemini in the springtime. So there's a Gemini here in the reverse that is not coming out of a dark and stormy night uh, because of something they did in the spring or by the spring. Um, something is going to be revealed about what they've done. This one's blank. And then I also have a Virgo. And it was in reverse and it just flipped upright. So I'll just take it in the upright. So what goes around comes around, okay? Something is not written in stone, and someone is getting a happily ever after. So somebody thought that they were going to get a happily ever after by being karmic, by being shady, by being manipulative, underhanded. Um, that's not what's going to happen here. Um, this divine femme or masculine, these two, um, you know, divine beings that are dealing with these karmics, once they have closed out these cycles, they're going to get their happily ever after and they're going to get their dharma, their good karma that they've put out. But these karmics think that they are going to hold on to this divine feminine masculine. There's an Aries in the reverse here. Someone's going to be angry. There's an Aries who's going to be um, angry in June regarding a Virgo and a Tuesday. So this could be a Virgo who's walking away from an Aries, you know, flip the rules as needed. But there's something significant about June and a Tuesday involving a Virgo and an Aries. Whether this has already happened or this is going to happen. This Aries was yanking your chain. They were not happy. They don't want you to be happy. Something is going to be exposed. Letting the cat out of the bag. So someone, something's going to be exposed about this Aries. You learned your lesson. You're going to move on from this person where you're going to. We have a Sagittarius in the reverse here as well. There's a Sagittarius who's scared stiff because of something they did in the fall. here person place or thing the letter C could be significant I'm hearing Christine or Christina Chrissy Cassie F Z Somebody slept with someone else's cousin, too. I don't know who that's for, but someone slept with someone's cousin. B. A. Someone could have a snake or own a snake. A. A boa constrictor could be significant. B. An ATV, a four-wheeler, could be significant. And, um, so I have C, V, or not C, V, C, F, Z, O, B, A, A, V, and M. Okay, I hope this helps. Have a good day.